I want the court to know that our parents loved each other and loved each of their children. People in Texas, even friends, said our parents were having too many children. Our parents didn't agree. They felt that God blessed them with all their children. So they kept away from the world and trusted God would guide them through life. Our mother wrote two small notes to our father. The first note reads, always let God be in control of your life. We have a perfect life because God has always taken such good care of us. I am so thankful to God for this. I would love for us to pray together on a regular basis. Spend our time with God will make our life more awesome. The second note reads, children are the most awesome gift ever. I've always known our precious and wonderful children are. When they are your own, it's even awesome the best gifts ever. Through the years, things became more and more overwhelming, but they kept trusting in God. I remember our mother sitting in her recliner and crying, saying she don't know what to do. She didn't want to use rope or chain, but she was afraid her children were taking in too much sugar and caffeine. The reason our parents didn't stop buying the soda was because father needed it for work. He would fall asleep driving and got in an accident. They didn't know what else to do. I believe our parents feared if they asked for help, they would lose their children. Our parents didn't know we were malnourished. They thought we all got the gene from our mother because she was so small. I remember mother saying, God has blessed us with healthy children. Our parents would get us pizza and Mexican food every other week, and sometimes more than once a week. Our mother would always tell us to let her know if we are still hungry, and she will give us more. Their first child went to a public school. They started noticing she wasn't really learning much, so mother started teaching her at home and saw a big difference. Our parents decided to start homeschooling all their children. It worked out good at first, but through the years it became very overwhelming. I believe our parents were afraid to put us in public school for many reasons. They felt that God put it on their hearts to homeschool. When we came to California, people treated us so much better, and people started telling us our family was a blessing. Our parents finally felt safe to start taking us out as a family. They got us annual passes to Disneyland and took us to see the Grand Canyon, Flintstone Park, Vegas, etc. Every year from as far back as I can remember, our parents tried to give us the nicest Christmas they could. They would get us what we wanted even if they couldn't afford it. They always tried to keep up with our birthdays every year, too. Closer to the end, things became more overwhelming again. I truly believe most of this was because our mother lost both of her parents in 2016. I feel like 25 years is too long. I believe with all my heart that our parents tried their best to raise all 13 of us, and they wanted to give us a good life. They believed everything they did was to protect us. If at all possible, I would really appreciate if the court would place our parents as close to the detention center they are in right now. So if we ever want to visit them, we can. Also, I want the two-year restraining order lifted, and I want to be allowed to talk to both my parents by phone. Thank you for hearing my statement. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.